Hello everyone, it's January 24th and this is your daily meta for uh, the weekend. Uh, we are going through Search for a Nonviolent Future and with your permission, I'd actually like to go back a step. I want to talk a little bit about the point I was making with uh, the personality of Nelson Mandela, who at that time was still alive and still president of South Africa. The point that I made was he had this uh, very strong ability to defy uh, a prison authority, which was quite unusual, took a great deal of courage. And then when he was out of prison 25 years later, he had the strength of character to step up to his lifelong enemy, F.W. De Klerk, and shake his hand and say, I am proud to shake your hand, let us go forward together. Now, uh, Time Magazine said that that strength that he had uh, to defy the warden who was trying to humiliate him was, quote, inconceivable. And I say, yeah, it is inconceivable in the old story where everybody is aware only of the their self. Their sense of self ends with the tip of their nose and they don't have a rapport with other people. <clears throat> but actually this very week, I was again interviewing Marco Iacoboni, the expert in mirror neurons, and it's actually getting harder and harder for science to say where my self leaves off and the yourself, self of other people begins. Uh, and I did make the point that both the strength to defy and the strength to forgive are part of a single emotional package which makes a person capable of nonviolence. And Gandhi always said, that uh, he can make a nonviolent person out of a violent person. He cannot make a nonviolent person out of a coward. So it's maybe not a little bit, maybe not quite intuitive, but I think we can start to grasp that the ability to resist, non-cooperate with evil, even at some risk to ourselves, and the ability to cooperate with good, again, when we need to go against our own emotional inclinations are part of the same capacity and that's what makes us human and that's what makes us nonviolent. So um, Gandhi went on to specify, and again this is something not in search, he went on to specify you have to have the capacity for violence in order to be made into a nonviolent person. Not the will, not the will to be violent. That of course you completely set aside. So once again, thank you for joining us. We are very much enjoying the feedback and the comments we're getting from you and using them to shape these discussions. So please keep them coming. And as our man Mahatma Gandhi would say, you are all welcome to join the experiment. Thanks very much.